So last week we um, looked at expanded noun phrases and we focused on non-chronological reports. Today we're going to start writing our non-chronological reports, but we're just going to touch on expanded noun phrases on the next slide. So if you remember, an expanded noun phrase is where we take our noun phrase, which is the determiner and the noun, and then we make it into an expanded noun phrase by adding adjectives into the middle. If you keep clicking, you will see some of my expanded noun phrases. Have a go and see if you can think of any yourself. So what we need to think about now is how we're going to start our non-chronological report. Thinking back to the features that we looked at last week, every non-chronological report starts with a heading. Think about what we're writing about and this will be a perfect heading for you to use for our report. Things like Chichen Itza, the ancient city of Chichen Itza, those kind of things. The things that talk about the overall subject that we are talking about. We're then going to have to be writing our introduction. This is just an overview of what we're writing about. We don't want to go into too much detail here about the specific features of the Chichen Itza. It's just general facts before we move on to the specific things. So if we'd have been in school, it would have been time now for me to do my modelled right. This is where we obviously think about our ideas together and we have a go at writing it. You can see here that I've started with my heading, which is the city of Chichen Itza. I've then not got a subheading because this is just my introduction to introduce me to my non-chronological report. Remember, the reader is just going to want a brief overview. We'll go into more details in the next sections that we're going to continue through the week. So my introduction says, the ancient wondrous city of Chichen Itza is found in the Yucatan state, Mexico. This ruined city was once home to a Mayan civilization and it covers a huge four square mile area. People are unsure when this amazing creation was built, but many historians believe it was in the fifth century. There is no wonder that this unbelievable site is one of the seven wonders of the world. You can also see that I've underlined some parts here. This is because we're focusing on expanded noun phrases. The ancient wondrous city of Chichen Itza. That is our expanded noun phrase. This ruined city. Another expanded noun phrase. Have a go and see if you can use your plan that we looked at last lesson to see if you can make up your own introduction. Make sure you upload them so I can have a look at them and then I can move you on to the next paragraphs later on in the week. So before you submit your paragraph for me to have a look at, you must proofread your work. That's about thinking about our capital letters, our understanding, does it make sense? Punctuation, have we got full stops, commas, and any spellings? Do we think we spelt these correctly too? Just remember, cups, that's the way to remember for our proofreading. Also, there should be lots of capital letters in this because we are writing about a place and a place needs a capital letter. Make sure you have a look at the success criteria. Have you included some conjunctions? Have you included expanded noun phrases, which is our focus? Have a look through before you upload any work that you want me to have a look at. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.